Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a feature that allows authors to add custom verbose style tooltips to your OAC visualizations. When you hover over a mark on a visualization, we display the tooltip of the selected mark and the tooltip displayed by default is based on the grammar definition of the visualization. The new feature allows the author to provide styling to tooltips as you can see on this horizontal bar chart where the sales and the top 10 city by sales is formatted using specific color coding. And you can also extend the tooltip to a more verbose custom style tooltips as displayed in the scatter chart. Now let's go to the edit mode and look at the experience for the tooltip editor. To launch the tooltip editor, hover over the tooltip drop target on the grammar, and then there's a pencil icon that's displayed. So you can click on the pencil icon to open up the tooltip editor. Or the other way to do it is go to the properties panel and then on the tooltip property it changes to a custom and this opens up the tooltip editor as well. So let me keep the focus on grammar and open up the editor. The tooltip editor experience is pretty simple. By default, the editor shows tokens and is value paired for each of the columns in the visualization. For example, on the category axis, we have customer segment. So the first token provides the label name of the column on the category axis. And then the second token reflects the actual value of a customer segment when hovering over a mark in the visualization. The same kind of token pair is provided for all the columns in the visualization. Now, overlay chart is a layer chart. You can see that I have a stack bar layer and a line layer. So the user can add custom tooltips for specific layers and they can select the layers from the top menu and switch the layer to provide custom tooltips. Let's focus on stack bar. There are other formatting options uh, that you would normally expect in edited tool that we've also provided. And all of these formatting options apply to both the token name and also its token value. There's also a reset functionality. Suppose uh, if you were to uh, mess up your tooltips and want to reset to the original, you can always hit the reset button. And then there's a preview functionality that helps the author to preview the custom tooltips and the formatted tooltips uh, before saving the changes. The plus icon allows the author to add the tooltips. For example, if you deleted these tokens and if you want to re-add it, you can use the plus icon to add uh, both the label name token and also its corresponding value token. Now, this is now our default tooltip. Let's start modifying the custom tooltip and see how it goes. So I'm going to format order priority and change its color to green and also to customer segment to maybe an orange. And you can see the preview basically reflects the changes that you've done. Let's go ahead and make a little bit of more change. So I want to make a verbose style tooltips. So I'm going to say the sales for the order priority and for this customer segment is, and I want to bring the measure, uh, so I'm going to copy the measure, or I might choose to delete them and insert it from here. So let me add the value token as well. And let's go ahead and preview. And you can see that my token style is, my tooltip style is more verbose in nature, which says that sales for order priority critical and for this customer segment, consumer is uh, the equivalent of the sales dollar, right? So there are some redundant information that I want to kind of uh, uh, remove. I don't want to keep the label name, so I'm going to remove order priority from this tooltip. I'm also going to uh, remove the label name for customer segment and also the label name for sales and keep it pretty simple and then update the styling of this uh, text to black. Now, when you review the tooltip now, it shows you that the sales for critical orders so let's go ahead and punch in orders and for this customer segment is a, you know in this example it's showing me the consumer customer segment is eighty-six thousand dollars approximately let's go ahead and make a little bit of change before we save it i'm going to color code order priority to a green customer segment also to a green and then the measure to an orange let's do a final preview and let's click ok let's go to the consumer mode and then hover over on the stack bar and you can see that based on the specific stack that I am hovering over, the tooltip is context aware based on the token and it retains the custom formatting and just changes the value of the column name um, in the stack bar for the overlay chart. Thank you for watching this video.